Hey guys, what's up? Uh, man, it's been a minute since we did one of these, hasn't it? Well, it's been like a couple of weeks. It's good to be back with you guys. Um, what I thought I'd do today was try something that's kind of impossible to do in a one-year course at a great school, but I'm going to try to do it in 15 minutes. And that's kind of show you, uh, when you hear the rough mix, uh, I heard this particular rough mix, and, and, and I, I want it to be kind of dreamy, kind of, um, have a, a um, kind of atmospheric movie kind of vibe. This is a song that uh, I worked on for Dream on his last album. Pat Thrall engineered it. Um, some of the some of the effects uh, I just kept Pat's effects, but right now I'm going to play it to you without any effects, so you can kind of see where where my thought process was. It's on it's on iTunes. It's called Long Gone. Go say you love me back But the thing about that Is so far from the facts See, I don't know about us anymore No matter what your mouth may say Cause your heart said long, long Okay, obviously that keyboard's a little whack right there But, um That's with nothing on it Now, I'm gonna play it for you Uh, with what I did This, uh, this is kinda live If I say I love you Go say you love me back But the thing about that Is so far from the facts See, I don't uh, First thing you hear is it's a lot louder uh, That's what I get paid to do uh, If I um, Let's see, if I solo this I can A-B it If I say I love you You go say you love me back But the thing about that Is so far from the facts See, I don't know about us anymore no matter what your mouth may say. Okay, so how do we accomplish that? Well, first of all, it, the, the, the easiest way to accomplish it is work with a great talent like Pat Thrall. <laughs> like Pat Thrall. That's, that's my number one secret right there. Um, but what I heard was the drums need to be kind of what they are. In other words, uh, I don't want to mess too much with the drums. Just kind of make them a little fatter, a little a little cutting through, but drums are dry. Uh, I just kind of did some parallel compression, things we've already talked about mostly. But the other thing that I heard was the uh, was there was a pad, and I thought that pad, well, actually, the first thing that I heard when I first heard the song was uh, to use selected effects that wouldn't make Dream feel like he's back in the track, but that gave it kind of a, um, kind of a vibey, um, uh, moody kind of kind of um, feel to it, and if you listen to the lyrics, they're 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 pretty aggressive. So I didn't want to use reverb, so uh, I used a, a lot of delays. Pat had some delays that I kept. Uh, used Procasti reverb. I used um, Revive. A couple of things. We'll go over that in a minute. So so the, the the vocal was was my number one source for adding vibe to the track. Secondly, was that pad that you hear. Um, it, 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 it creates a lot of mood and vibe. I'll show you what I did to that. And then there's a guitar part. Um, and then there's a part, I think it was called Phantom. So anyway, we'll go over those parts and we'll show you how, how we did it. Let's start with the vocal. I don't know how to please you. Great vocal, great recording. I was looking down and I don't know what I'm supposed so I, I, I used the de, uh, you know, de-est it, and, um, and of course a little, little tiny touch of auto-tune. Um, then this EQ is something you might want to study. It's um, obviously wanted a little bit of top end, and there's some very subtle cuts. I think I did. I think I did this stuff in here, and I think Pat did. No, I think Pat did. Pat did this stuff because it looks pretty subtle, and then I did this stuff up in here. We're trying to build a sound that gives us a, a vibe. Um, here's a channel strip, and there's some automation on the channel strip. I forget what I automated. I think I automated the low end. Uh, maybe I didn't. Um, I'm thinking of a different song. Um, yeah, there's, I didn't automate this one. 
But anyway, you can see it's mostly just subtle little touch-ups. Touch and then uh, I tried several compressors. I tried a lot of them, and this is my favorite. Uh, I got a little gain on it, so... Um, uh, let's start with let's start with a compressor because it'll be the hardest to hear. So here's an AB. I don't know how to please you. I don't know how to please you. For those of you that are watching every little minute detail, you notice that's, that's a lot of compression for me. But I liked it. I look at the meter and I don't want to like it. I listen to it and I like it. So we're going to keep it. Channel strip with and without. I don't know how to please you. Everything was looking up and now it's looking down. It's hard to tell what that's doing at this point in time because it's not the main bulk of the heavy lifting. Um, this guy is pretty much the heavy lifting. I don't know how to please you. Everything was looking up and now it's looking down. I don't know how to please you. 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 So basically what we're trying to do is get enough high end to make it have emotion, but not enough high end to make it sound too pop. Okay, now um, the, the, the Massey takes off a little bit before it gets to everybody. I don't know how to please you. I don't know how to please you. You was just another fucking day. <laughs> you was just another fucking day. I controlled the F on the F word pretty good there. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, so now let's, 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 let's bring everything in. Oh, what I'm supposed to do. Another day with you. Oh, what, oh, what I'm supposed to do. Another day with you is just another fucking day. Somebody please. Oh, what I'm supposed to do. Another day with you is just another fucking day. Okay. Now, well, this is going to be the last AB I do on these vocals. I don't, I don't want anybody to get kind of irritated. Oh, what I'm supposed to do Another day with you is just another fucking day Somebody please Oh, what I'm supposed to do Another day with you is just another fucking day Somebody please Oh, what I'm supposed to do Another day with you is just another fucking day Okay, now effects um, I'm going to turn them on and then I'll show you the effects themselves So here we go what I'm supposed to do Another day with you is just another fucking day Verb Please oh, What I'm supposed to do Another day with you is just another fucking day Somebody please oh, What I'm supposed to do Tight delay Another day with you is just another fucking day Somebody please oh, What I'm supposed to Quarter. do Another day with you is just another fucking day Somebody please oh, What I'm supposed to do now, the reverb I'm using is, 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 a, is a chamber, which is just, you can get that on anything. And then the setting I'm using on um, uh, the quarter note delay, this is kind of interesting. Rolling off a lot of the top end. It's really not a quarter note, it's more an eighth because the tempo is saying it's 135, which is kind of twice the actual tempo. And then a little bit of flanger on it. Um, a lot of you guys are probably asking yourselves, well, Dave, why wouldn't you use a twizzle flanger? Well, because this is kind of like the old version of the twizzle flanger. I wanted to get a little bit of that, that kind of oldie vibe. Twizzle flanger is very modern, as you know. Okay, so that's, that's the signal path there. Here's the verb. Uh, this is just a basic... Um, uh, our verb, uh, medium delay, that looks like it's a, a eighth. Double I'm using it sometimes, it's just a basic thing I've shown you before. All right, so that, that kind of gets us going with the vocal. Now the next thing that, 
I love this about Pro Tools 10. You can just unsolo right there. Uh, the next biggest thing was, was these pads. I, I, I wanted them to be swooshy, swirly, kind of like, um, you know, kind of pop, kind of ballady pop, but still a little aggressive. So here's what I got. The biggest heavy lifter is um, is this isotope. You've seen me use it on pads before. This is going to take a second. I've got this maximi the maximizer part on. Uh, I've got a little bit of top end compressor, and then this is a little widening stereo image thing. So just that alone gives me a pretty good vibe. That combined with the reverb. Hear that tail on the reverb? This is just to balance out the size. Sometimes you get tracks that are left heavy, right heavy. This is all I'm trying to do is make this a little more stereo. Then the compressor. Don't really need that because the isotope's doing the heavy lifting. There's a couple of spots in the song where it works. And then this is just to make it a little believable. There's a little digital thing in there that we tried to get out. So 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 now we're we're starting to build that vibe. We're starting to get a feeling when we listen to what we've done so far with the vocal and with the pad that that something's going on here, you know? And then the next the next thing would be this guitar is pretty important. This little guy here. I know these volume these volume differences are going to mess with you, but I don't want to take the time to even them out right now. Just, but you know, do that, do that in your, in your, at your leisure, and you'll, you'll learn a little more. Okay, so basically nothing fancy, just a little compression. A little EQ. This is just a basic D-verb setting that just sounded better than anything else I tried. Just whatever comes up when you start D-verb up. And then this is the other track that I, I, I wanted to add a little something to. Nothing radical. <laughs> well, maybe it's radical to you. I just wanted, I don't know, you know, some of those old worm sounds out of early Dr. Dre songs, they just had that haunting quality. I felt like that makes it more haunting. And then and then I needed a little bit of um a little bit of jizz. That's the uh chamber on the bracket the casting. Let's stop it so you can hear the tail. When last time I'm gonna play the original. Somebody please tell me what to say. Or is it okay to feel this way? Cause I don't know about us anymore. How to play you. Everything was looking up, but now it's just play a little piece of the chord. So anyway, you get the idea. Try and pick your effects. Try and take your EQs. Find moments in the track, like like the 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 uh, what was that track called? Um, the one that I kind of took all the top and bottom out of and made kind of radioy. Um, you know, find moments like that. Now you can't you can't do that in every song, but just just train your mind to start thinking. Okay, the lyrics are haunting, but they're aggressive. Uh, he's 
you listen to what he's saying, the track, um, Dream and Pat did the track. Uh, the track's pretty aggressive. We don't want to mess with the aggressive parts. We want to make the drums more aggressive, but we want to get a little bit of, um, I don't know, I, I, if I had to call it something, I'd call it kind of psychedelic kind of vibe to it. Um, kind of like an old group called PM Dawn back in the day when everybody was real dry, they got this little psychedelic thing going. Uh, that was actually what was in my head. So anyway, hope, hopefully that'll give you some places to start from and don't be afraid to experiment. Don't be afraid to suck. If you, um, if you, if you play your stuff for everybody and they just love it, that's just a sign of mediocrity. You want, out of 10 people, you want three or four to just violently hate it. You want three or four to go, that's not bad. And then you want four or five to go, dude, you are the most incredible engineer I've ever heard. Go for it. If you screw up, just fix it, you know, but take a chance and, and, and experiment. And that's the way you grow and learn. Uh, back to you, Dave.